Remains found at the site of the Gilliard Center will be reinterred. And today, Charleston City Council is going to talk about the plans for that. News 2's Olivia Parsons is live for us outside the Gilliard Center. And Olivia, the plan is for these remains to be buried again on May 4th. Brad, I'm standing right behind the Gilliard Center at the corner where Anson Street meets George Street. And this is where City Council finds it most appropriate to bury these remains because of how close it is to the original site. Now, I want to show you video of this site in daylight so you get a better picture of what I'm talking about. The remains will go into a vault in between the two trees that you just saw on your screen. Right now, those remains are in an interim location after being studied by archaeologists. Researchers are trying to learn as much as possible about the history of the remains prior to reinterment. So far, no relatives of the deceased are known, but we're still waiting for official DNA results to come back, which should happen sometime before the May 4th ceremony. The, the 36 people that are here are all of our ancestors, and whatever they did before they passed was to build this city, was to make Charleston what it is now to give us a home that we have now. And on May 4th, the Gullah Society plans to shut down George Street. There will be a procession, a parade, all so that they can honor these 36 lives. For now, reporting live in downtown Charleston, Olivia Parsons, Count on Two.